This video is all about telophase, which is the last phase of mitosis. The easiest way to think about telophase is that this phase is reversing all of the changes that happened in uh, prophase, in the first phase of division. So we kind of have to go back here. Remember we made this one change to the picture during prophase. So this should really be like a dashed line around the nucleus to show that like, the nucleus is coming apart during prophase. So one of the things that starts to happen in telophase is the nucleus begins to reform around these and then same thing with the other side there's two new nuclei that are made inside the new cell so of the uh, the four changes that happened during prophase one of them was the nucleus coming apart so here it starts to reform in telophase another thing that happened was the chromosomes condensed so here you can see the chromosomes are coming back apart again they'll end up back like they were during interphase which is when they're in the chromatin form so technically another thing that that should be different in this diagram is the DNA should just kind of be a mess inside of that one in interphase especially back here you know during G1 it hasn't condensed into chromosomes yet so it's still just kind of a clustered mess on the inside of the cell. Um, another thing that we have to talk about that's changing in this one is the spindles. You can see during prophase the spindles started to form. Well here the spindles have retracted back inside of the centriole. Another thing that's happening here is the centriole has moved back towards the nucleus whereas in prophase it was moving to either pole of the cell. So you now have one at the top and one down there near the bottom. Uh, the final thing that's happening in telophase is this section is forming in the middle. This is called the cleavage furrow. It's a line that will eventually become the new cell membrane when telophase is complete and then the cell pinches in half in cytokinesis. We end up with two new cells, you know, one cell on one side, one cell on the other. And again, this DNA, this is all the uncondensed chromatin inside the cell. So it shouldn't uh, be shown as chromosomes in those pictures. It's hard to find a, um, a perfect image of this, unbelievably. So there's a, a lot of little variations to many of these diagrams that I've looked at. Overall, I like this one. It's just a few minor things that are wrong with it. Um, so to go back to our list, as we always do, uh, some things to remember about telophase. The first one, I think the, the simplest way of thinking about things, is try to think of it as the opposite of prophase. So what does that mean? That means the nucleus begins to reform. That means that the DNA begins to unravel. It means that the spindles retract. I guess we should write in there that's into the centrioles. And then the cleavage furrow. That forms. And that's um, exactly where the cell is going to end up splitting in half in the next stage. So that's when the cell actually splits um, in cytokinesis. But I really think the easiest way to think about this one is it's just the opposite of prophase. If you know what happens in prophase, all of those changes get reversed here. And um, th that should sort of help walk you through this step. So keep in mind, even though we've broken these down individually, the final video is going to be sort of like tying them all together to help you remember the big picture of what's going on because even though it's important to know like what happens during telophase, it's the most important to understand how each of these steps impact each other. So as always, I uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in class.